Hi guys, my name is uh, Lee Kolsén uh, and I'm a multinational freediving instructor based in Sweden. And I'm also the founder of Freedive Nordic, uh, that's a freediving school based here in Stockholm. And today we're going to not deep dive into the nutrition for free divers, but more look into the benefits of a whole food plant-based diet. <laughs> brother Linus who is also a basic free diver but he specializes in uh, nutrition for the plant-based diet as he is a certified nutritionist. With that said I would like to make a distinction between the vegan diet and the plant-based diet. The vegan diet is based on more moral and ethical principles whereas the plant-based diet is based on nutritional science. So. To illustrate the building blocks of a plant-based diet, we will use a triangle that consists of four parts. The first level of the triangle is the base, and it's divided into vegetables and fruits. The second level uh, consists of whole grains, and the third part is uh, leafy greens, vegetables and legumes. And the fourth and last level consists of high-fat whole food, such as avocados, nuts, seeds and uh, vegetable oils etc. For some athletes there's another level to this pyramid that we will talk about later on. Since breakfast is the first meal of the day it's quite natural that we want energy. Preferably in the form of uh, both slow acting and medium acting carbohydrates that complement each other. But also vitamins, minerals, healthy fats, antioxidants, phytonutrients and protein. An illustration of this could be a smoothie bowl, uh, overnight oats or porridge, which are quite similar in their layout and easily modified. Another favorite of mine is the overnight oats and it's super easy if I go traveling to always carry with me just oats, uh, flax seeds and chia, chia seeds. So, I prepared this uh, where I have a jar in the fridge uh, with some frozen berries. Uh, it's blueberries and raspberries, and then there's flax seeds, chia seeds, and some oats. so-called Buddha bowl, uh, where the base usually consists of a carbohydrate source like uh, quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, bulgur, brown rice, etc. Uh, a protein source, uh, soybeans, chickpeas, white beans, lentils, tofu or tempeh, and some cruciferous vegetables such as uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale and red, red cabbage. Uh, you can top up with some more vegetables that you like and also some nuts and seeds to finish up with a plant-based dressing. We have all heard about so-called superfoods before, where superfood can be everything from spirulina to chlorella, maca, moringa, acai berries or just good old goji berries. These foods, alongside supplements, can be seen as the final touch of an already well-balanced and sustainable eating habit. So, thank you guys very much for listening. Uh, I hope you all learned something new that you can adapt into your, your life and that you feel that you're willing to try out. Take care, bye bye.